and welcome to this uh, system. I've just made a tutorial about a project of ours. It's a personal project of two people just having fun and it might be interesting for you as well. So maybe you can learn something from it. The project is called Arclinux B XFC Bear. And uh, together with Xeon CPU, we were wondering what do we what can we ditch from this ISO, this XFC minimal? So we have here in the build your own ISO, we have the possibility to build an ISO that's a full version and a minimal version. So already starting from a minimal version, can we go even more minimal? And we dubbed the little guy bare. Bare meaning naked, unclothed, unclad and stripped. So can we strip this ISO from more stuff and um, make um, a very, very small ISO. But we still want a beautiful XFC. It still needs to look nice. It still needs to have this Arc Linux soul, but without lots and lots of software. So that's the idea. We do realize that functionality is less. Things are not going to feel the same as on the Arc Linux ISO, but that's uh, that goes without saying. And afterwards, well, we'll probably need to add some stuff to our Arch Linux Nemesis script to get some stuff in because we don't have a browser, we don't have uh, anything LibreOffice kind of thing. So elements will be missing, no VLC, no Praga, no Clementine, nothing really to enjoy ourselves. So, but that's not the goal. The goal is to go to really, really, really minimal. So hence, bare. This video has been created, the ISO has been built. So let's go and have a look at the result of the ISO. So what happens if you build your ISO, so Arclinux B project is when you build it yourself, that's the idea, not, not download it, actually build it. That's why we gave this project to you guys. So you are in control what goes in it, on it. So this is the result. At the end of the day, you have an ISO called XFC bare ISO. Let's load that up. Super F7 virtual box is installed. And indeed, for the guys who have missed it, there is a great video about uh, Antergos. So people who want to move from a Antergos installation to an Arch an Arch Linux installation. It's um, super easy, it's, it's, it's Arch, it's Arch Linux, the basis is the same. And it's actually a very interesting video how to, how to see that all the pieces of the puzzle are fitting so nicely together. That it's so easy to turn your head around and say, now I'm hooked on Arco Linux rather than Arto Antergos repositories. It's super easy, super fun. And um, well, have a look. But, so, templates, let's clone this and do an XFCE bear. Next, clone. That's that. Where is the ISO? Let's get it. It's here, Arclinux B out, and double click. Maximalize, Control F, boot. Business as usual. There are tutorials how to set up your virtual box for real, I mean, for real in the sense, use the correct driver. That's the most common mistake people do. So you need to uh, make sure that your resolution is maximum. In my case, 1920 on 1080. There are so many videos about how to use the Calamaris installer, which uh, you can follow. So I'm gonna skip all the details and just go ahead and go for an installation. This, I, however, I'm gonna say, Keep track that this line is there and it's filled in and that it's not blank. Yep, and go back. Better. And off we go. So while this thing is installing, let's go to desktop number two. So what do we see? Uh, what don't we see? Where's the blank? No blank in here. There are no conkeys either. What gives in the menu? Well, let's go to accessories. The things you see are all coming from XFC. So we didn't want to cut on the desktop environment itself. We could do that as well. But that's not the point. It, it still needs to have some feel that it's a complete desktop without um, breaking anything, uh, right? 
So if you really want to have a very, very small minimal installation, you probably need to go to some tiling window manager of your choice. But um, XFC is of course, uh, was our choice, uh, basically because of course, in the live environment, you have something to show already. You see already the live environment working. So um, this is a lot, this, all this stuff is actually, oh sorry, accessories all from XFC. This is something we could get rid of. This needs an icon and that's XFC, XFC development. We kept this guy because sometimes we wanted to edit something and change something and investigate something. So that can go if you want. And then no browser whatsoever, multimedia, nothing really. These are just leftovers from packages and pulse audio volume control, of course, Pavu control. We need that to set our uh, devices. So, okay, no problem, we need that. But um, this is all XFC, all XFC, XFC, Lightium, of course, without Lightium, there is no display manager. We need that as well. And I see QT5 CT is a choice to have it. So design, theming, we decided to put that in and all the rest is LightDM again and all XFC. So check it out what we did in the other video, but we were, we have thrown out a lot, but not in the sense that we have thrown out uh, the soul of Arch Linux. So, so it still looks and feels like Arch Linux, but uh, it's bare, right? So the last thing I'll do in this video is open up Control alt t and this thing comes up and say, oh, what the hell? That's the th why, I mean, it's bare, right? So it's not set, all the functionalities that we've provided, all the nice designs, it's not there. But I want to end with this little line. I hear sometimes people say, I want my system to be as low as 1000 packages and not more or 900 packages or 800 packages. Well, this system has 718 packages. So Pac-Man is maintaining 718 of them. So it's some kind of measurement. If you like to measure how low can we go, then this is maybe a nice um, number to show. All right, that's it for me. This is the look and the feel about uh, of this, this little experiment of ours. It's not gonna be repeated, it's just uh, us having some fun, but maybe you can learn something from it and maybe you can build an Arclinx B Qtile pair afterwards or a Gizmonad or a BSPWM or anything you like, Mate, whatever. But it's it's a thinking procedure, it's um, a workflow you need to follow and adhere to and then, well, you're good to go and you make as many build your own ISOs as you like. All right, enjoy building and comparing the Arclinix B ISOs.